it's signed in every corner. So essentially what Rodolfo Morales is saying is there's no top and there's no bottom to this painting. Today we're looking at a painting by Rodolfo Morales. Uh, Rodolfo, as many people will know, is one of the great Oaxacan artists uh, from basically the 1990s and early 2000s. This is a really interesting piece. Uh, first of all, the date. Um, the, the provenance is uh, the title on the back. It's uh, from the gallery um, Estelle Shapiro. Uh, was his dealer up to about 1993, 1994. So basically, this puts it in that kind of early 90s uh, period. Uh, that's a period where, for me, he's painting at his best. He's matured as a painter. Um, later in life, he became very prolific, but uh, in this period, you can see that he started a painting and finished it all the way through. There's not an abundance of uh, texture here created by sand, but uh, just wonderful techniques that we'll kind of look at a little further. Uh, beautiful underpainting in these areas, and when he wants heavier texture, this wonderful impasto here. Uh, now, it may sound kind of redundant to say, but it's, um, it's, it's kind of very symmetrical painting. Uh, so we're basically looking at it from four sides. And there's buildings on four sides here. Uh, we have faces looking down, faces looking up. But essentially, the only thing that's not symmetrical in the painting is this figure here. And what we see here is this figure whose legs are actually up here. So if the painting was folded around like this in a kind of cylinder, basically her body would, would obviously join together. So, and it's the other really interesting aspect of this painting, and it's a very complex painting, is that uh, it's signed in every corner. So essentially what Rodolfo Morales is saying is there's no top and there's no bottom to this painting. When we look at it this way, we have this central figure basically this earthly figure, base, if you will, looking up to the heavens. So these give the kind of feeling of possibly angels looking down. Um, but then when you turn this painting the other way around, it takes on a very different connotation. Like uh, this figure starts to be look, is actually looking down. So again, it, it kind of reads into that wonderful relationship that uh, you see in a lot of Mexican art and culture, particularly in Oaxaca that wonderful relationship with the real world and the spiritual world. So we have, again, these four figures here looking down, four figures here looking outwards, but all around it, uh, you don't see them immediately, these kind of darker shapes looking inwards. So, and the other, th or the other, the other kind of really interesting piece about this, this painting is uh, the wonderful use of architecture and arches. So these arches become really doorways where um, they become symbolic of passing from one reality to another and depending on which way the painting is, this way around or the, the way it is now, it actually has a different kind of connotation. Uh, you, can, you can either feel yourself looking down on these figures here or in this case looking up at them. But all in all a really really super painting by uh, Rodolfo Morales from a fabulous period and a really well thought out painting but Initially, you kind of enjoy the painting. You don't get caught up in all the kind of complexity of it. But um, once you do get caught up in the co complexity of it, you kind of read it on a different level. Uh, but again, just going over that, that, that the wonderful application of paint in these areas, a wonderful underpainting. Uh, that it was only during that kind of um, period in the kind of late 80s, early 90s, uh, that makes it a really, really special painting.